Valentine's Day. Woohoo! Put some Cupid here and there and put Alicia the love guru. <laughs> okay, I'm kidding. Don't do all that. One, two, three. Let's go. Valentine's Day. A celebration of love. A day to express affection and appreciation for loved ones. Yet, there is so much more to love than we could know. Love. Love must be the foundation of everything we do and every relationship we have. Amidst all that is heard and seen about love, it's vital to recognize that the ultimate representation of true, unconditional love resides in Jesus alone. His life, sacrifice and unwavering love for people epitomize the highest form of love, agape, selfless, sacrificial and unconditional. God's love isn't simply portrayed as a fleeting emotion but as a profound and unwavering commitment. It is always and forever. Love each other deeply because love covers a multitude of sins. Perfect love as described in the Bible is powerful, casting out fear and extending beyond self-interest to prioritize others. This kind of love is not easy and that's why the Bible calls it the labor of love. It's a labor of dedication and selflessness, a mirror of the love that Jesus demonstrated. His love never wavers even when we are unfaithful, for He is faithful. He never abandons or leaves. His love endures even when unseen. He remains steadfast, never forsaking, never condemning, never departing. With perfect knowledge of the past and perfect vision of the future, God loves us perfectly. In a society where cancel culture often prevails, Jesus' love stands in stark contrast. Despite our shortcomings and failures, his love never cancels us out. It's a love that accepts, forgives, and offers us many second chances. It's a love that is unfathomable. Our limited minds can't grasp it. But this love is not solely for you and me. It's meant to be shared. Like St. Francis said, preach the gospel at all times. Use words if necessary. This is the essence of living out love through our actions. Put on love. It's not merely a sentiment, but an enduring virtue that perseveres through challenges and demonstrates kindness even in trying circumstances. Love is not arrogant or self-seeking. It does not parade itself with pride or puts its interests above others. Instead, it humbly serves and considers the needs and well-being of those around us. There is power in showing up. Proximity breaks down walls. Love is marked by its humility. Always ready to give. Always ready to serve. Always ready to uplift. It doesn't seek its own recognition or gain, but it rejoices in the truth and goodness that others experience. This kind of love is not easily provoked or resentful. It doesn't hold grudges or keep a record of wrongs. It chooses to forgive, letting go of past hurt and offenses. It is a love that embraces the truth and shields, protects and hopes for the best. It perseveres through hardships and never fails. Even in our darkest, love whispers, I am still here for you. The world is desperately in need of such love. Are you willing to give? Are you willing to love? With over 3 billion people still unaware of the good news, the call is to love and demonstrate the gospel through our life. Love is a force that has the power to change the world. It will change the world, for love never fails. It has no end. And we need to improve our capacity to love, because when our life on earth is done, we won't require faith and hope anymore, but we will continue to abide in love. The greatest of these is love. Every moment that we love has eternity in it. 
so choose love choose to love anyway hatred is never justified and no injustice justifies bitterness so choose love today choose to love god and what god loves people